hello guys welcome to another reading welcome back if you're new or returning i'm going to be asking spirit here to tap me into the story of two people now this person could be you i have no idea whose energy i'm going to pick up on but we're going to talk about I don't know, whatever it is that they give me. I have no idea what I'm going to see, what I'm going to pick up on. But if it resonates with you, claim it, take it, and know this video found you for a reason. It's not going to resonate with you entirely. I can't imagine it being um, for someone 100%, but maybe, who knows? Just know that if there are parts in this reading that does not resonate, leave it for someone else that's meant to hear it, okay? um the other details that doesn't resonate for you if you want to look deeper into this reading i do <clears throat> have personal reading um options available at this time lover special being one of them if you want to take advantage of it if you want to look at how your person is currently thinking feeling what spirit wants you to know what's coming in what's coming up what can you anticipate and or expect or, you know, advice concerning a situation or a specific person? Let me know. Leave your questions in the email below. I'll put my email in the description box below. You guys can send me your questions. Okay, so right now, <clears throat> let's just jump right into it. How are you currently feeling right now? Spirit tap me into the energy of a specific viewer. This could be about something or someone. Okay. The person's energy, the person who's meant to hear this reading right now for this video is for their current energy right now is will this work out? I don't know. I'm at crossroads at this time. Okay. You have two of swords with the ten of cups. Will this lead to a happily ever after? I, uh, you, whoever it is, I'm picking up on right now. You are feeling uncertain about getting this ten of cups if this will actually work out will you end up with this person will you have a happy ending with this person you are feeling discouraged or you're questioning things right now and this may do be due to recent events Maybe something that happened in the recent or distant past. Something right now is making you question if you want to continue contributing to this connection. Could be financially, emotionally, physically. If you want to continue putting in efforts, you're spending your time on this. Since I'm getting time, some of you here could be wondering, like, am I wasting my time with this person? Is this ever going to happen? Are we ever going to be together? Would we ever? And would could we be together? Do this person actually like me? You know, the Two of Swords is at crossroads about a happy ending. Some of you may be wondering, will they leave or stop doing something so that you guys could have a real shot at this? But I am getting here, whoever it is, that I'm speaking to, <clears throat> you're really questioning whether or not you should stay in this or not. If you should stay in it or if you should just give this up or how much energy you want to invest into it further. Okay. The person that you, let's see here, what is going on on the other end of this reading? Okay. 
regarding this situation. What do you need to know about this person? Some of you, this is a Virgo. So from your point of view, in your eyes, you feel that this person isn't as invested or isn't willing to give this a try right now or something. It's just not the right time. <clears throat> you feel like they maybe don't want this as much as you do. Some of you feel rejected by this person. You're the one that's making an effort and this person is just being dismissive. You're trying, but your energy and their energy right now, and this isn't, I'm not getting here that this person doesn't like you, doesn't actually want this. I'm kind of getting for some reason, for some of you, it's time. Something here it was either a bad time, okay, <clears throat> or something here with the timing. Some of you, this is regarding a Virgo, or I'm speaking to a Virgo, really could be any sign. What's going on with this person that you're dealing with? Because I'm getting here right now, they, they have some things they want to think about or consider. And I'll clarify why. Yeah. A spirit showing me right now, they're thinking about something you said. I'm even kind of getting hanged man in the wheel of fortune. Wow, you guys are matching energies here. We have the two of swords. That came through on your end. <clears throat> this was a total surprise. Something came at them, and uh, this was unexpected for them. A pleasant surprise. Something they were not expecting. To show up at their doorsteps, having such strong feelings for you. The way things are right now. Yeah, we do. Someone is trying to make a decision. The way they feel, I told you, this is coming through. This was a total shock. Something they didn't see coming at all. They didn't even know how to plan for this. They didn't think this was going to happen. This was the last thing they saw coming, honestly, with this tower coming through. And it's coming through as a Nine of Cups and the Empress. What this is, and the King of Pentacles, some of you, it is a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. You know what I'm getting through right now? The Empress and the Nine of Cups. This could be regarding a, <clears throat> a, a female as well but i'm getting a very strong male energy here it's like the last thing that they expected was to fall in love with you um this person i'm kind of getting it was um with this uh devil energy <laughs> king of pentacles energy this kind this person i'm kind of getting it was a serial <clears throat> a serial bachelor okay you know, this kind of um, casually dating. This was just kind of fun. Okay. But then all of a sudden, the feelings that developed were, because I'm seeing here, they see you as the Queen of Wands. So someone that they find very attractive, but with the Empress and the Nine of Cups, it's like, you're not just only attractive, you're the total package, the Empress with the Nine of Cups. You're the type of person that they could see themselves marrying. Like, you tick all the boxes and more. Okay, they were not expecting to catch all these strong feelings for you or to even consider or think about settling down or you know, getting into a relationship or getting married. This is someone here who is a serial bachelor or have them wanting to be single, okay? And they were just kind of dating. Maybe this was right after they got out of a long-term relationship or something here happened because this to them was kind of out of nowhere. But it's a pleasant surprise. Something that they want to take care of. Something that they want to see grow And this is almost like a blessing from above. Okay, something that they've been wanting 
They weren't sure if they were ready. Let's just say if asked, they would have said no. But now that they found themselves in this situation, it's something they don't want to give up. It's something they can't let go. The Nine of Cups with the Empress is like, why would I give this up? I know I have something of value here. This is not something I want to lose. You know, I'd be an idiot if I were to lose out on this. I landed on a gold mine. I, I landed, I mean, this is hitting the jackpot. The Empress with the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment. Okay, a wish fulfillment, being so lucky, feeling so grateful, cannot even, I cannot even fathom, this is like, and then they see you as a queen of wands, king of wands, doesn't matter he or she, it's like you're so attractive, not only are you attractive because the queen of wands is all about having that sexual attraction, <clears throat> having a burning desire, now they were really into you physically, but then as they got to know you, you're also the total package. You're smart. You're funny. You're adventurous. You're witty. You're sweet. You're kind. You're loyal. You're everything this man or woman wants. You know, you're everything this person is looking for and more. But you're like, okay, great. Why are they pushing me away? I'm going to go ahead and clarify that. Because this is making them so anxious. I'm getting anxious. Okay? I'm getting anxious. Let's clarify some of this energy. They are trying to make a decision here with the Two of Pentacles. Trying to... Oh, so what this is saying is this to some of you, the decision here is regarding somebody else. They have to walk away from somebody else first, okay? Or somebody here wants to come back and fight for you again. They know that there is competition. I'm getting a third-party situation, or that is what they're fearing. Okay, and this is like, how do I tell my parents? How do I tell my family? What do I say? They do want to show you off. They do want to show you off to somebody here. But they know that somebody here isn't going to like it. Maybe it's their children. Maybe it's their, you know, somebody that they, I don't know. They just feel like there's going to be some kind of drama. Maybe with an ex. Okay, ex maybe thought that they were going to work something out, but then they met you. <clears throat> They did not see this happening, okay? Falling in love with you or... Uh, I mean, that's kind of what I'm getting. Falling in love with you. But they had some kind of situation here with an ex. Or soon to be ex. Okay, this could be that they're married right now. Because I'm seeing here this person... Okay, this could be your male or female... They um, are afraid that, you know, there, there's, some, there's something this person's afraid of, but what they do want is you. Like, they feel like their heart belongs with you, and they are feeling, at this time, very motivated to do something about it. But they just don't know exactly how you feel. Maybe there's been some time um, that's passed. Okay, because I'm getting hermit, crickets, you know, solitude, withdrawal. Okay. They're wondering something here. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Um, some of you, this is um, someone you haven't spoken to in some time. I have Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. All the earth signs are in here. <laughs> That's funny. Here's Capricorn, here's Taurus, and here's Virgo. And then we have the King of Pentacles. Some of you, this is an earth sign. Or you have earth in your chart. Some of you, I'm getting since I was just kind of being guided to pick this card up as I was mentioning earth. This person is actually very stable, very well off, or that's 
they're going to come and they, they have some money saved or, you know, they're financially comfortable. And they wonder maybe if you're after their money. Okay. Maybe they have been taken advantage of in the past. It's like, do you really like me? And this person I'm kind of getting because they see you as the Nine of Cups and the Empress, male or female. They see you as any... You can have anybody. You can have anybody. So why me? What is it about me that you really like? You know, there's a little bit of the self-worth, self... -worth, self esteem thing going on where they feel like they might not even be good enough for you you know it's like they're questioning what is it about me that you really like <clears throat> you can have anyone I mean what do you see in me do you really actually like me or you know what I'm getting here is kind of like you don't even really want me you want somebody else maybe you're just settling for me but you're like, no, I want you. Maybe there was a time when you were on the fence. There was like an indecision here between you and somebody else. Maybe you have mentioned somebody else to this person. That's not going to resonate with a lot of you. But <clears throat> I just, I am kind of getting this energy that something may have been spoken about somebody else. Maybe they said that to you or you said it to them. Or maybe there was a mention here of an ex. Okay. So... There are, there are some insecurities here, is what I'm getting. You know, they're like, are you done with that situation? Why are you coming to me now? Or why do you all of a sudden want this so bad? For some of you. It's like they want to know your intentions are real, pure, and genuine. So I get that they have a burning desire for you. Tell me about the Nine of Swords, please. What is this person thinking about? What's in their head? Okay. So the Nine of Swords with its Ten of Wands. This person has a pessimistic view on relationships at this time. They feel that, you know, things will just go wrong because all their past relationships went wrong, terribly wrong, always ended in, you know, argument and destruction, chaos and destruction, something like that, okay? That this is going to be a lot too much to handle. I'm just kind of getting here. This person's like relationships. I mean, relationships are work. And they're like, am I ready for something like this? You know, it takes a level of maturity to get into a lifelong relationship. Something as unique and special as this. You have their undivided attention. You have this person's attention. They notice the... Um, <clears throat> I don't know. This is for somebody. I need to say this. They notice how unique and special you are. They know that you're one of a kind, one of a million. They know they hit the jackpot. They know they landed on a gold mine. It's like I'm kind of getting here. It's like, wow. Maybe I'm not good enough for somebody like this. You know, you're too good for me. I need to look for somebody who isn't as good as you. You know, you're too nice. You're too sweet. I'm used to that toxic shit, <laughs> you know, but they know that this is a blessing. They know that this is something they can't give up, that they can't walk away from, and that if they do, they will regret this. Tell me about the tower, please. Thank you. See? I am telling you, oh, this is kind of cute. What they're worried about, they really want to approach you. You see here this cat, 
It's like, I really hope, I really hope I'm not wrong about this. This person won't hurt me. That this isn't just a trap. And that, you know, they're out for my money. <clears throat> you know, um, they're going to lie and cheat, betray and backstab me because of something here that's happened before to them in the past. Maybe this is something that happened between the two of you. They're worried that something here might happen again. This person still has some, you can tell, some fear, okay? surrounding relationships and that's what they're in their head about i'm getting here though this person really wants you like this is just them it's like i just want you to trust me things will be okay it's fine i promise i'm not gonna hurt you they're like i don't believe you i don't trust you This is something I told you that they've noticed. They do see how different you are from the rest. They just don't. They have a thing with self-worth right now going on, you know? Like, maybe you're too good for me. Tell me about the Nine of Cups, please. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Because this is a wish desire, a wish fulfilled. This is everything that they want and more, okay? How they feel about you. Yeah, see how cute. This is something that they want. They get the best of both worlds. As some of you might understand, I don't know, hopefully that made more sense to you guys than it did for me. Like you're hot and you're smart. You're hot and you're fun. You know, you're funny and you're X, Y, and Z. You, they have the best of both worlds. You give them space. You give them freedom. You There's respect. There's something here. They feel like they have the best of both. Look at that. Empress again. The, they see you as someone that they can be with long term. They can have a family with. Become the mother of their child, their children, or a father. You know, this is someone they see long term with. This is someone that they, wow, they, they want a future with you, long term with you for sure. Like they want you to, <clears throat> they want to have offsprings with you. Okay. Yeah, something here about wanting to have your baby. You be a great mother, you be a great father. You know, they see you as someone very reliable, dependable, someone that is very nurturing. Very nurturing, very protective. Maybe they see you as a great mother in law to their kids or father in law to their kids. If you guys, you know, it doesn't mean that this person, I'm just getting here like they want to build, they want to grow. And they see you as the right person, the right fit for them. Not just right now, like for life, you know. They're trying to make a decision right now because they're player ways, they're bachelor days. They're not sure if they're ready to put all that past them. And I don't even get like that that's even really a question. I get more here, so this is all this is a little bit more about just being intimidated intimidated by relationships right now like what if you hurt me because they see you as someone so precious so valuable so amazing the empress coming out twice from two different decks they see you as the total package there's no card the emperor empress there's no card higher than the empress okay she is it Okay, the woman, if this is concerning a man, like, you are like the apple in his eyes, you know, you are a male or a female, like, you are, if this is a female, she, she sees you as the person she wants to marry and have kids with, you know, have your babies, you know, um, <clears throat> maybe she has to leave somebody else and she's willing to do that. Um, or you're right. You guys may both have a third party situation going on. 
right here is all telling me like this person is totes about you they're just slightly intimidated right now because they're like why me what do you see in me are you sure you're you know like they want to they want to see if you're real if you really if you really mean it so they are cautious they're very cautious right now but they really do want to come towards you look how cute this is it's like i really hope i really hope it's safe i'm scared i i really do want to come towards you but i don't want you to hurt me what you know how would i heal from this they feel like you have the potential you you have the ability to really break this person's heart because how much they're so into you because of how into you they are you have the ability to really break this person's heart Okay, so advice. Let's go ahead. I, if you want to reach out for a personal reading, let me know. I feel like this is very specific here. They definitely will walk through fire for you. They're real. Okay. This person is very into you, if you can't tell. Let me see here what your advice is. What is this person? What is the viewer's advice right now? Take, take a risk. Take a risk. You're refusing to see something here. Maybe you have doubts, insecurities. You don't think this person's into you. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, you need to get out of your head. Maybe you need to leave somebody behind. Winter or blues, you got to take that risk. You, you won't know until you try. Somebody here is afraid of rejection, so they're playing it safe. You're refusing to see what's directly in front of you. You can't see with your visible eye is saying see with your third eye, your intuition. Something isn't doesn't make any sense in your reality right now because of the circumstances, but that is not the truth. What is right now in front of you is not what's actually going on. This can only be understood and felt with the third eye. So this is saying like, you know there is a connection here. You know there is a connection here, but whoever it is I'm speaking to right now, you are so afraid of being rejected. You're so afraid of maybe losing something or something not working out. So you, somebody here, or maybe sat afraid to break someone's heart and be alone if it doesn't all work out. But see, win or lose, you have to take that risk. You can't play it safe. A new opportunity begins. This is a soul tie. I'm seeing here. This is an infinity sign. You are meant to be with this person. I don't know. Hopefully this reading resonates, but this is your advice right now. You will be, wow, well rewarded for your efforts. You just have to be brave enough. Oh, you have to be brave enough to have the courage to open up and there will be success and growth and coming together. Okay, that is your message here for whoever that needs it. This was very specific, I think. If you guys need me in the, for a personal reading, let me know. I'll see you guys later in the next one or in your personal reading. Bye, guys. Thank you guys for your time.